All right, middle-aged white guy reacts is back with another video and today we have an artist that we have not seen in a little bit on this channel, at least in two or three weeks probably. Um, that would be NF. And this song is featuring another artist that we have never seen on this channel before. So it'll be fun to check him out. Uh, now this song is Trust featuring Tech 9 from NF. NF, Trust featuring Tech 9. Um... Tech Nine's been in the game for a long time, long time. And actually, uh, somebody on one of my other NF videos, I believe, suggested this song and was trying to kind of fill me in on um, Tech Nine and, and how he has a really unique flow. Um, lots of, you know, I might, I might be jamming a couple of different comments together at this point. But <laughs> pretty sure somebody was telling me about this song, about Tech Nine, about his flow. And how he can like kind of switch cadences and he has like really unique sound and um yeah yeah he he does he really does um so i brought uh oh this song actually that's the other thing i wanted to say so somebody had mentioned it but the next few weeks were crazy uh tom mcdonald dropped a song we started doing a couple of different artists and this one kind of fell through the cracks and i kind of forgot about it um my wife, like I said, she's been doing some some research for me and trying to find other songs to react to. Uh, so she's done. She picked the first one today, which was Cashville Stomp, and this is actually another one uh, that is her doing. Okay, so she found this one. She told me, you know, last night she's like, "Hey, did you know that Tech Nine did a, a song with NF?" And I'm like, "What? No." I mean, I did. Now I remember. Now that she's jogged my memory, that somebody did actually tell me about this. But I'm like, "No, you know, oh my god." So. We put that on the list. It's like, well, Tech Nine, yeah, absolutely. We're gonna we're gonna listen to Tech Nine, and we're gonna listen to NF because we like them both. Um, so I may have been lying a little bit just a, a couple minutes ago about saying, you know, yeah, I'm familiar with Tech Nine. See, all right, I like I said, I brought props. Uh, these are CDs. This is what we used to carry our music around in, children. Okay, you have one of these, and you have all these little circular things in there, and you you carry those around. And they have some music on it. Okay, see, these are the the CDs. And if we turn, we'll see Tech Nine, Absolute Power. Tech Nine, Misery Loves Company. Tech Nine, Ever Ready. Tech Nine, Strange Music Library. So, yeah, I am a little uh, familiar with Tech Nine. I know of him for sure. <coughs> So, yeah, basically, this is one of the uh, old school guys that I was really into for, for a period. So I am definitely pumped to do this one. And it looks like I've been talking for about probably two minutes too long. I try to keep, like, the little intro banter back and forth to about a, about a minute or so. Um, so we're talking too long. Let's get right into the video. This is NF Trust featuring Tech 9 Like I said, my wife picked this song. So if it's bad, we're going to blame her. If it's good, I'm a genius for allowing her to choose a song and then also obviously i'm sole res solely responsible for what songs get reacted to on this channel so i will take the credit if this is good she'll take the blame if it's bad okay <laughs> all right let's get into it On every single day, mm. I want to figure out a way to get ahead of what I think I know is coming. Tavi, you got a problem if you're always trying to make it seem as Come on, NF. Come on, Nate. Can you ease me into the flow? Can you ease me in a little bit, man? Can you start at about half that cadence and then work your way up to that? Like maybe bump it up 10, 15 percent every couple of sentences, every couple of words at least? Man, you're just hammering me. Just hammering me right off the bat. Okay. On every single day, I want to figure out a way to get ahead of what I think I know is coming. Mm. Tommy, you got a problem if you're always trying to make it seem as if you've never been afraid, then why you're running? Mmm. He wakes up in the morning thinking of how he's going to deal with all the problems that haven't even happened yet, that may not even happen during the day. He's, all the problems that I think I know what's coming, or something like that. Uh, so, you know, whether it's a traffic jam, his mental health, just dealing with day to day BS. 
uh, a job interview he has to go to, whatever. He's already thinking of all the problems that he's going to run across in his day and how he's going to navigate and deal with them when it hasn't even happened yet. See, I mean, NF is just, he's, he's so far in his own head that this is the way the man thinks. He's thinking about all the problems he's going to deal with before they even come up. And they, they're, they, they're not even real. They're not even real yet. You know, like, and then you're saying um, something about if you're scared, why you're, if you're, if you act like you don't, you're not scared, why you're, why are you running? He's saying other people like act like they don't think about this stuff and like it doesn't bother them. But like, what are you running around for then? Why are you running? If you, you say you're not scared, but your actions show otherwise. So basically, you know, he's saying, hey, maybe we all kind of think about things this way, even though a portion say that they don't. It, okay. All right, NF. Let's go. To get ahead of what I'm thinking, I was coming. It's obvious you got a problem if you're always trying to make it seem as if you've never been afraid, then why you running? I can never look at what I do the way that other people can and walk away. I can't be separated from it. Sticking mm. on my neck is how I'm... Uh, okay, hold on. Let me hear that one one more time. Then why you running? I Get ahead of what I'm thinking, I was coming. It's obvious you got a problem if you're always trying to make it seem as if you've never been afraid, then why you running? I can never look at what I do the way that other people can and walk away. I can't be separated from it. I can't look what I, at what I do and walk away like other people, basically. Like, so, hey, good, bad, or indifferent, he's going to see things through. All right, he's not going to walk away. Uh, he's not going to cause a problem, walk away. He's not going to start something, walk away. However, he he's looking at it, you know, um... He's going to see it through, and if he causes an issue, he's going to try to rectify it. If he starts a job, he's going to try to finish it. Seems as if you've never been afraid, then why you running? I can never look at what I do the way that other people can and walk away. I can't be separated from it. Stay he can't be separated from it. So what he does... Mm, okay, so what he does, he's a rapper. He's saying he, you know, he can't be separated from it. So, you know, other people view him, view him as... A certain thing and he can't separate that from his job you know like his life is his job or something okay <laughs> like, nf it, this is a crapshoot essentially trying to figure out what he's saying most of the time if you've never been afraid then why you running i can never look at what i do the way that other people can and walk away i can't be separated from it sticking out my neck is how i made it where i'm at you want to cut it up i came and they can never take it from me mm, he's like sticking out his neck is how he already made it this far you gonna chop it up okay you're not taking it from him still. He's already got it. Okay, NF. Walk away, I can't be separated from it. Sticking on my neck is how I made it where I'm at. You want to cut it up, I came and they can never take it from me. Outlandish, take chances. Gotta get it while I can with. Outlandish, take chances. He already said he got here by sticking his neck out. By taking risks, taking chances. Doing things in ways that maybe weren't considered uh, the path to success. Okay? Yeah, yeah. My damage, my sanity could leave it if it vanished. Don't matter to me, I'd still manage. Yeah, guess you could say I'm at it. My sanity could leave it if it vanished. Don't matter to me, I'd still manage. His sanity could vanish, but it wouldn't matter to him because he'd still manage. You know, if you're not familiar with NF, he, you know, has struggled for a long time with mental health issues. So he's like, hey, you know, what's the big deal if my sanity is just not there anymore? Oh, I'm like, I'm like hanging on by a thread anyway. So, you know, I'll manage. I'll, I'll navigate it still. This is, this is par for the course for me. Can with my damage, my sanity could leave it if it vanished. Don't matter to me, I'd still manage. Yeah, guess you could say I'm at an advantage. My vantage point can be quite lavish. Got mm. Mm. to me, I'd still manage. Yeah, guess you could say I'm at an advantage. My vantage point can be quite lavish. Got you guys, you could say he's at an advantage. His uh, vantage point is quite lavish, okay? So from his perspective, he has a very lavish perspective. Uh, um, oh, God, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, a, a wide perspective, okay? He's seen things from, from different, a different situation from a lot of people. And it's giving him insights. He's saying his vantage point is quite lavish. His his perspective is enormous, okay? Because he's he could see it through different lenses that we're not looking at it through. Matter to me, I'd still manage. Yeah, guess you could say I'm at an advantage. My vantage point can be quite lavish. Got so many cadences, no way to pick one. Which bag is my hand in? Depends what mood I'm in. Oh, no. Oh, 
Okay, okay. Guess you could tell me the advantage. My vantage point can be quite lavish. Got so many cadences, the way to pick one which bag is my hand in. He's got so many cadences, which way to pick. Well, which bag is my hand in? Which one is it in right now? That's the one we'll go with. Which one am I touching? Uh, you know, so if a rapper is in his bag, okay, that's basically like saying, you know, the, the beat he chose, uh, how his flow was over that beat. That was like, it suited him. It was very, uh, it went well together, and it was his bag, basically. Like, that's his lane, so to speak. That's what he's good at, so stick with that. So he's saying, you know, I got all these bags. Which, which one's my hand, and that's, the, that's the, the cadence I'll pick for this. It doesn't matter, you know, because <laughs> all of them are his bag. He fits in all of them. That's crazy. That's a nice bar. My vantage point can be quite lavish. Got so many cadences, the way to pick one which bag is my hand. Mm. Depends what mood I'm in. Oh no, I'm in a mood again. Lord. Depends on what mood I'm in. Oh no, I'm in a mood again. So hey, what mood am I in? That's the cadence, that's the flow I'm coming with. Put my hand in the bag, we grab it out. But no, I'm a hooligan, losing it. Who can get gruesome with? You know what it comes down to it, you can bet. I shoot the wreck, diffuse the threat. And then wonder why the music has a huge effect. Could it be because I'm in the gutter when it comes to depth? Because I'm the one that they're calling when the people get fed up. I want the music with the visuals. I got him in debt. For any part of me that want to make it hard to get set up and take away the happiness, it can be kind of pathetic. But when I look at everything, it's trying to give me a headache. You got to be honest, I've really been the cause of it. Get it? Because I can see inside of me, you never see. You can tell when I'm at the breaking point. I finally had to sit with the devil. Are you going to stop? Nate, are you going to stop? What the hell, man? Jeez. Okay, well, we're going to back that up a little bit. Any part of me don't want to make it hard to get set up a ticket. They be calling when the people get fed up. I want the music with the visuals. I got them in debt. For any part of me don't want to make it hard to get set up a ticket. Away the happiness, it can be kind of pathetic. I want to look. Mmm, take away the happiness, it can be kind of pathetic. The music has a huge effect. Could it be because I've been the go to when it comes to death? Because I'm the one that they be calling when the people get fed up. I want the music with the visuals. I got them in debt. For any part of me. Oh, saying something about edibles and his music and some visuals or something. They go to when it comes to death. Cause I'm the one that they be calling when the people get fed up. I want the music with the visuals. I got a vendetta for any part of me that want to make it hard to get set. The music with the visuals, he's got a vendetta. Cause I'm the one that they be calling when the people get fed up. I want the music with the visuals. I got a vendetta for any part of me that want to make it hard to get set up. I'm not sure if he says edibles. He might not said edible. I don't know. I don't know now. Something about uh, um, the musical visuals. He has a vendetta. The music with the visuals, I got him in debt. For any part of me that want to make it hard to get set up, but take away the happiness, it can be kind of pathetic. But when I look at everything, then something about any part of him wants to take away the happiness is kind of pathetic. Okay, okay, so I got him in debt. Getting... Any part of me that want to make it hard to get set up, but take away the happiness, it can be kind of pathetic. But when I look at everything, it's trying to give me a headache. You gotta be honest, I've really been the cause of it. Get it? Cause I can see inside of me, you never see. You can tell when I'm at the breaking point, I finally had to sit with the devil. I'm winning the oh. hell with the problem. He's at the breaking point, he finally has to sit with the devil. Get it? Cause I his demons, his mental health, all right? So when he's finally at the breaking point, that's when he has to sit down and he has to face them. He has to face that devil, face those demons. You can see inside of me, you never see. You can tell when I'm at the breaking point. I finally had to sit with the devil. I went into hell and I asked him what the problem is yelling. He tried to get me to live with him. He even called me a sinner and told me everything about me doesn't feel like a winner. So oh. Then he came in there shouting at him. So he's, he's, he's coming in there aggressive with his demons. And like, you know, what's going on? What are you talking about? And, and the devil's like, you know... Uh, you're a sinner or his demons. The devil in this is his demons. His demons are like, you're, you're, you're a sinner. You, um, you, everything about you doesn't even look like a winner. All right. You're a loser. So they're tearing him down, working at the chipping away at the self-esteem here. Yelling. He tried to get me to live with them, even call me a sinner and tell me everything about me doesn't feel like a winner. So I continue when he's telling me I might as well give up. I took a moment, thought mm. about a feeling caught in the middle, but got offended when he told me I would live in the canon when I could never leave it. Even if I made it to heaven, he found a way to get me back and send a demon to get me. I'm like, oh. So you're saying, <laughs> damn, if he goes to heaven, he's going to have to, uh, they're going to send a demon to come get him. So he can't even, like, you know, there's no escaping from this. Okay, he has to face it. There's nowhere he can go to hide from it. Even if he went to heaven, send a demon to come grab him. Like, you know, no, 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 son, you're sitting down, you're facing this. It doesn't feel like a winner, so I continue when he's telling me I might as well give up. I took a moment, thought about it, feeling caught in the middle, but got offended when he told me I would live in the canon when I could never leave it. Even if I made it to heaven, he found a way to get me back and send a demon to get me. I'm like, mm. oh, hold up, I don't think so. Skin and bones, me, my ego. How's he look? Oh. He don't eat much, let him starve. I don't feed him, I just Ooh. feed him, I just leave him in his room, in a fetal. Let him cry, let him yell, let him scream. I don't need him. Wow. That's heavy. 
That bar, that's heavy. Hold on. Meet my ego. Okay, so he's like, hey, here, meet my ego. He don't look good. Let him starve. I don't feed him. So he's saying, you know, I don't feed my ego. None of this, none of this stuff that I do will I allow to be fuel for my ego, for my confidence, for my self-esteem, anything. This is not ego fuel. Getting balls, me my ego. How's he look? He don't eat much. Let him starve. I don't feed him. I just beat him. I just leave him in his room. In the fetal. Let him. He doesn't feed him. He just beats him and leaves him in a room in his in the fetal position. Wow. As he's saying, man, like you know, I won't allow my ego to grow to to become healthy. Uh, to eat. I don't feed my ego with the success I've had, with the fans I have, with the money I've made. None of this feeds my ego. But I do beat him. I beat him every day. Beat him up. Keep him down. Keep him pinned to the ground. All right. So, I mean, this guy beats himself up every day, essentially, is what he's saying. He looks in the mirror and he tells himself anything he needs to, to, to make sure he does not have... Uh, you know, the great, uh, self-esteem going on. So and that's just heavy. That is, that's heavy. Like I said, he, this man is in his own head. He has so many issues and it just comes out in his music and it's, it's like tragic at times. Starve. I don't feed him. I just beat him. I just leave him in his room, in a fetal. Let him cry. Let him yell. Let him scream. I don't need him. yeah techie okay come on tech Next king up, everyone knowing that I'm a death bringer. That lingua vexing, yeah, leaving a regular rapper resting, bruh. Mmm, he's the next king up. Everyone knowing that I'm a death. I trust. Count on one hand, I trust. The death bringer. Next king up, everyone knowing that I'm a death bringer. He's next king up, everybody knowing he's a death bringer. Count on one hand, I trust. Next king up, everyone knowing that I'm a death bringer. That lingua vexing ya, leaving a regular rapper resting, bruh. That lingua leaving or vexing ya, leaving regular rappers resting, bruh, or something like that. Saying, you know, his his lyricism, his linguist, linguistic ability confuses a normal rapper, a regular rapper, all right, and, and making them rest, killing them. So he, he's like, I am so above you. I'll kill you with this beat. I'll kill you with this flow. I'll kill you with my lyrics. All right. You can't even understand it. It confuses you. It vexes you. Everyone knowing that I'm a death bringer. That lingua vexing. Yeah. Leaving a regular rapper resting. Bruh. This is what I give it such an incredible wicked rush. A vivid gush. A poetical mm. livid stuff to rid its gruff. Said I better go rip it rough and I lit it up. The prestige. I got that from people loving the text speed. Lyrically elect me. Jet Li. The beat against oh. the <laughs> Lyrically elect me. Jet Li. He's a martial artist with his lyrics there, all right? The prestige, I got that from people loving the text speed. Woo? Lyrically elect me, gently. The beat, I got you bopping into your neck bleed. Mm. That is telling me, let's feed on the bit of the bogus. The hit of a focus, deliver the doses and give a crit of the dopest. Bit it to flow, sick another crit of corrosive. A swig of the rogues and give you liver cirrhosis. Oh, man. That's so hard. Hold on, let me hear that one more time. I'm not going to be able to pick out all that, but wow. Beat, I got you bopping into your neck bleed. Woo? That is telling me let's feed on the bit of the bogus to hit the focus. Deliver the doses and give a crit of the dopest. Bit of Deliver the doses, getting critical doses. So flow, another critical rose of a swig of the rogues and give you liver cirrhosis. <laughs> like a swig of something and deliver you roses, basically. You know? <laughs> Spit it to flow, sick another critical rose of a swig of the rogues and give you liver cirrhosis. <laughs> Boogie monster, rep with a nephew and a hoodie want to step into the session and fully conquer the weapon to lessen our professional bully bonkers. Left in the wreck, never checking, or could he stop us? Ugh. <laughs> 
there's I think there's a Sesame Street reference in there somewhere. Cookie Monster. Um, the tech, man. Jeez, it's been a while. It's been a minute, man. And his flow, his style is so unique. I mean, he's not even like getting into his Tech 9 flow here yet. I, I, you always at least see it for a, a brief flash at the very least in all of his songs. So I'm sure we'll get there. Willy Wonka? Did you say that? Like Godzilla, I'm such a killer when I break it down. These flows are the cheat code for the weak Joes that need those elite bros with the heat so they can eat on a deal low off a beast. Your ego got a V. No, he didn't. Let me make sure I heard that right. Like I'm the Mecha Godzilla, I'm such a killer when I break it down. These flows are the cheat code for the weak Joes that need those elite bros with the heat. These flows are like cheat codes for. Get down. These flows are the cheat code for the weak Joes that need those elite. <laughs> this flow is like a cheat code for the weak Joes who need those. So this is his flow for me right now, so I can understand what the hell he's saying. Thanks, Tech. Thank you. Such a killer when I break it down. These flows are the cheat code for the weak Joes that need those elite bros with the heat so they can eat on the D-Low off a beast. Your ego got a veto. <laughs> got to eat on the D-Low so he could boost your ego. <laughs> for the weak Joes they need those elite bros with the heat so they can eat on a deal low off a beast your ego got a veto please close your beak folds the least scrolls take it for me thief chose to try to decode reload the beat so i can reach each soul no cease no for need oh reload the beat so i can reach souls the least scrolls take it for me thief chose to try to decode thieves chose try to decode reload the beat reload the beat so i can so i can reach each soul no so he can reach each soul reload the beat like a gun like he's shooting people but he's putting the beat into your soul. He's reaching your soul with his music. And then the beat, letting you feel it. Close the least scrolls, take it for me. Thieves chose to try to decode. Reload the beat so I can reach each soul. No cease, no finito. Release. Go! I am the chosen and everyone is beholding. My energy is golden because the minion is being broken from me. He is the chosen, everyone beholden. Go! No cease, no finito. Release. Go! I am the chosen and everyone is beholding. My energy is golden because the minion is being broken from me. His energy is the goat. So no cease, no finito. Release. Go! I am the chosen and everyone is beholding. My energy is golden because the minion is being broken from enemies in the open approach and I'm never joking. Enemies being remedy being spoken, I'm hoping that you're soaking it up. I'm in the ocean, I'm dope, and I'm never choking my devotion to floating like a notion. The holy ghost, and I'm scoping the evil poke, I'm provoking the wicked notion of croaking. I'm really floating and quoting that I'm closing it up. Talking behind my back, end up with nine and see me. Jesus Christ, man. Kind of like you could not find that not hit you with a rhyme attack, really is spray. I'm gonna beat you because I'm greedy and slay if you creepy and cray. I'm gonna eat you like PB and J. Kiwi and grapes. I'm gonna demolish you in the TB and play. Oh, he's gonna eat you like PB and J and kiwi and grapes. Kind Delicious. Of like you could not find a hit you with a rhyme attack, really is spray. I'm gonna beat you because I'm greedy and slay if you creepy and cray. I'm gonna eat you like PB and J. You creepy and cray. I'm gonna eat you like PB and J, like kiwi and grapes. Really is spray. I'm gonna beat you because I'm greedy and slay if you creepy and cray. I'm gonna eat you like PB and J, kiwi and grapes. I'm gonna demolish him when the TB and play. Play. Mm. I started recording in my number three Jordans. Dunga re sporting. The tongue of me is gonna be scorching. The punishing hunter eat like a hungry orphan. Oh, recording with his Jordans and his dungarees. Kiwi and grapes. I'm gonna demolish him when the TB and play. Something about orphans. I started recording. <laughs> In my number three Jordans, dunga re sporting. The tongue of me is gonna be scorching. The punishing hunter eat like a hunger re orphan. Tongue is me, tongue in me is gonna be scorching. All right, he's gonna spit so fast, his tongue's gonna be on fire. He's gonna spit so much fire, his tongue's on fire. In my number three Jordans, dunga re sporting. The tongue of me is gonna be scorching. The punishing hunter eat like a hunger re orphan. <sighs> Tina the Jordans, dunga re sporting. The tongue of me is gonna be scorching. The punishing hunter eat like a hunger re orphan. <sighs> The Punisher hunting meat like a hungry orphan or something like that. My number three Jordans, dunga wow. sport, and the tongue of me is gonna be scorched, and the punishing hunter eat like a hungry orphan. Oh, T9 and NF for elephants in the room without a closet for skeletons. Quit and oh. a demon from hell. Tech and NF are elephants in a room with no uh, room for skeletons or something like that. 
Okay, man, we're elephants in this. There's no room for skeletons. Saying they don't, they don't, they don't hide their skeletons in closets. Okay, they don't, they don't have a closet for their skeletons. They wear them out, man. They're out in the open with their uh, skeletons. Elephants in the room without a closet for skeletons. Quit embellishing a demon from Hellas and yell it when Donnie, yeah, Donnie, yeah, Elephant. Look what I do, what I do. Hey, helping them people I love. I love. My life is not what it was. No. I do whatever I must. Hey. Kind of one hand who I trust. Hey. Kind of one hand who I trust. Hard, yeah. Yeah. Kind of one hand who I trust. Hey. Kind of one hand who I trust. All right, that's a banger right there. I have to listen to Tech Nine's part like two, three more times, maybe four more times. <laughs> yeah, I think I got a lot of NFs. You know, I, I, obviously his is even hard too. Tech Nine, I haven't heard him in so long, but I'd have to listen to him a few more times to really tell you what he's getting at fully in his. But I mean, that's still that song's awesome. The beat's awesome. Their flows are awesome. Their cadences, you know, and like I said, I was a big fan of Tech Nine. Uh, maybe I'm gonna have to go through and listen to my old CD so I can I can remember how to hear his flow a little better. But that'll do it. That'll be the reaction. Middle-aged white guy reacts is out. Peace.